Hello beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to Energy and Light. Today's video is going to be slightly different and these are not topics that I ever thought I would be discussing on my channel. But after a recent experience I felt guided to speak about it a little bit. So I live about 15 to 20 minutes from town where I'm at. And I'm not one who reads the news or watches the news on television. Um, I usually avoid it mostly. Also, I didn't realize the day I went into town that it was the last day to vote. So not only was the energy or the atmosphere extremely charged, um, but there were people talking about the coronavirus. Some of them were quietly talking about it as if if they spoke so softly it wouldn't exist. It was kind of strange, but I felt like I understood that's where they were coming from. And then there are a few people who were alarmists and I could just see the terror on other people's faces and this just was not helping at all. And these people didn't really know what they were talking about. They were just basically parroting and there wasn't anything specific that they knew as a fact. So anyway, um, I just kind of observed and walked away trying to avoid it, keep my energy to myself and that energy away from me. So basically, um, just focusing on protecting my energy. But later when I got home, I caught myself or I caught myself having little thoughts that started popping into my mind, like maybe I should buy some more emergency food or have some water on hand. Maybe I should call my relatives, my family, and just tell them to make sure they're stocked up. <laughs> and uh, wondering if maybe I should avoid going back into town as much as possible for a while. And then I thought, stop, what are you doing? You know, these are not my thoughts. This is not me, how I normally live my life or think day to day. And a very helpful practice I often use, and I wish I could remember where I learned this, but it basically explains that there are two human emotions, fear and love, and everything else is derived from one of the two. And clearly, these thoughts were coming from fear. Um, I don't even know if the virus is in the U.S. right now. It might be. I don't know. And also, the rest of us know the powers that be use fear to control and manipulate the population. I don't know if this is true or not either, but I've heard that there's some politicians who are using the virus as a way to gain votes in their favor, which is just really shallow and petty. So the next morning, a very powerful transmission came through during my morning meditation. I actually speak two other light languages, but they normally only come through from time to time in my morning meditation. Um, I don't think I've ever posted this on YouTube, so this is something completely different. Um, she's a very ancient ancestor who in her time was a medicine woman slash shaman. And I get the sense that she lived somewhere in Asia during her lifetime. And she will be doing a clearing and an activation through the codes and tones, upgrading your cells and DNA. It's been a while since she's made an appearance and it's a little odd for me to hear this because <laughs> I didn't know my voice could even sound like this but she was very adamant about this, so I decided to go ahead and post this even though I'm a little bit uncomfortable with it. Before I begin, um, there are a few things that I would like to recommend to you if you are dealing with the stress of this. Um, also, it's really important to remember when you're stressed out is when your immune system really starts to suffer. So you want to try to remain as calm and relaxed. I mean, whether you're t stressed out about the coronavirus or anything, you want to be as calm as you can and keep that immune system up. Take extra vitamins if you feel that helps. So anytime you feel you're being influenced by this drama, I would say meditation is the number one thing. 
um, as often as you need it, especially when you're starting your day off. I can't imagine starting my day off without meditation. It would just be a total fiasco. <laughs> Uh, try to get out in nature as often as you can. Do some earthing. It's a very powerful thing you can do as well. Um, listen to positive, uplifting music. Watch some Reiki videos. Uh, surround yourself with the right people. This is very important as well. Try to avoid the news and the fake news. Uh, I would recommend checking out The Edge of Wonder. I love their channel. And the information there is very, or I would say, accurate. Um, unfortunately, their channel is suffering a little bit because uh, YouTube has blackballed them, so to speak. But they're starting to do a little better again. But you can check them out. Um, and remember, only you know what works for you. So focus on what makes you truly happy and uplifts your spirit. So now just go ahead and relax, get in a comfortable position, take a few deep breaths, just ground yourself through the breath. If you want to light a candle or some incense, whatever brings you a sense of peace. And feel free to listen to this video as often as you need to. It will definitely benefit you in ways that you might not even be aware of. So let's begin. Fear not. Changes are taking place in the world. Fear them not. Change is natural. Hani hado ye, ene ya hani, kya hani ne wa he, as de sha. Breaking up the fear energy. Ene hana ye di ani a ti ha wa ye, as de sha wa ha ti he. You are powerful beings. Go within for strength and wisdom. <laughs> Create your reality from within. Fear not. Change is good and what is necessary. Even if we do not understand fully in the moment. Go deep within for comfort, for knowledge, for patience, for alignment. Draw your strength from within. You are a powerful being. You are part of Source. You are connected to Source. Source lives within us all. Draw upon the power. Yeah, 
呀呀的的呀，踢他耶，踢他耶，踢他耶。Tai shedi kaiye tutoyewat.